Hello friends. In this tutorial, we are going to cover AWS Code Pipeline. So as you can see in this diagram, we have uh, it starts with the AWS Code Commit. So this is your uh, code repository. You can choose any code repository. It can be GitHub. It can be AWS Code Commit. For sake of this tutorial, for this example, we will be using AWS Code Commit. Okay, and uh, you can pause your screen for now uh, for this uh, <coughs> um, slide. So here uh, uh, I have mentioned about summary of what we are going to cover in this tutorial. So we are going to use an existing Java project. Build tool will be Maven. Code project uh, we will be uh, sharing in uh, uh, GitHub. So I will be sharing the link in comment section. So uh, unlike uh, <coughs> you know any Spring Bootable where we have jar and you execute jar. So here the deployable will be dot .war file and uh, we will be creating aws pipeline covering phases starting from code source build to code deploy stages so here advantage of using this approach uh, uh, you know on, uh, on uh, elastic beanstack is like with elastic beanstack you will be using uh, deploying one application and it will give you one ec2 instance right so in case if you need to deploy more applications so you will end up creating more ec2 instances Right. But with this approach, uh, which we are going to cover in this tutorial, you can have multiple applications deployed on same EC2 instance. Right. So that will be uh, uh, feasible and that's what we have achieved in this tutorial. Okay. So prerequisite here is like uh, uh, open GDK is already installed and uh, you can find many tutorials available for installing GDK or Tomcat, uh, uh, you know, on your EC2 instance. So for, for the sake of this tutorial, so uh, we will be using an, uh, uh, you know, uh, Linux based, based uh, AMI, which already have Tomcat and JDK installed. So that's not a big deal. Uh, you can find uh, tutorials on YouTube and there are many tutorials that are available. So in order to keep the length of this tutorial, you know, limited uh, and uh, to be specific to solving this uh, problem of uh, AWS code pipeline using uh, Java, uh, you know, uh, project uh, that has uh, deployable artifact as war file. So we will be using that AMI. Uh, I hope you will understand. Uh, you agree on this, right? So, okay. Now the steps EC2 uh, instance. So we will create role and assign that will allow our EC2 instance to support code deploy feature. We will provide uh, user data script. <coughs> Sorry. This script will have code to download uh, code deploy agent on EC2 instance. So we will be using code deploy repository. Uh, we will we'll be uh, demonstrating like how we do the code check-in and uh, code build application code deploy application and de deployment group. We will be, uh, you know, uh, uh, go through the Java application uh, covering build spec dot uh, uh, YAML file. So this file is required for uh, code build to work correctly and uh, app spec dot YAML file, which is required, uh, you know, code deploy uh, to work correctly. So finally, uh, we'll be covering uh, like EC2 instance uh, with the uh, de code deploy agent, like how it is structured and where exactly it uh, deploys at first, you know, uh, as, as, as uh, output of like pipeline successful execution, right? So we'll, we'll cover that. Hmm? Okay. So starting with the, okay. So we'll, we'll start with the EC2 instance. So I have AMI here. So Okay. Okay. So we will need role first. So I am okay. I am going to create a role. So use case is my EC2 instance uh, use case. Next permissions. So code deploy. So we have to select AWS code deploy full access. Okay. So next tag. Okay. So name is new ec2 code deploy okay create role okay that role is now created so we'll go back to this configuration instance this thing i will refresh okay and then uh, new ec2 code deploy okay so this is my code. Okay. That's that I will be giving for user, uh, data. Okay. So, okay. To just explain here. So in the first step, 
sudo yum update to update the session we are installing ruby okay why we are installing ruby because uh, we will we'll, we'll explain a bit later so after this we, we are installing code deploy agent so this is standard uh, command uh, you know command here okay so this is the location of uh, code deploy installation so we install it and uh, to install it we need ruby actually so that's the reason we have install up update and uh, install ruby then code deploy and then we are uh, installing this uh, install uh, element uh, here and uh, basically we have tomcat here so in these commands basically we start we execute uh, change the permissions uh, for the startup.sh and in the next line we execute the startup.sh as you can see here okay next okay and uh, add tag so this is very important because uh, your code deploy uh, configuration will be looking for ec2 instance where that uh, uh, artifact need to be deployed so how this code deploy action is going to identify on which EC2 instance it has to deploy. So this is basically done uh, based on the name here, the tag that you provide here. Okay. So for the for this tutorial, we will be giving this name demo EC2 for code deploy. So you can give any name, but you have to make sure that whatever name that you provide here, it should be exactly the same that you are going to give in your code deploy. Uh, configuration uh, group so that we will cover later but, but just take note of this name that we have given here so name is in, uh, capital okay and uh, next so you already have a security group web dmz you can make uh, your your security group you can use uh, you know port number 80 should be open and sfh uh, uh, 22 you don't need uh, mysql aurora this port you don't, don't need to open but uh, i already had one so i'm using it Okay, and uh, select a key, key pair. So I already have one. I'm using it. Okay, and uh, alright. So it's 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 going to start. Okay, and then uh, we will go to uh, code commit, uh, and we'll uh, check in our code. So I already have my code here. And uh, my code is in uh, in my local as of now, the entire project. So first I will upload this entire code in my code commit and then we'll begin. Okay. All right. So we have it uh, AWS code commit. So I'm going to create a empty repository here. Okay, we can give it any name. So I'm giving it like AWS pipeline demo for var project. Okay. Or var application. So I'm going to copy this URL, uh, cop clone HTTPS, okay, and uh, here I go, okay. So first step, I will import my entire project. So as an option that we selected here, import, so existing Maven project, okay. So browse. <clears throat> and uh, here is my code entire code now for this this application create a new git, git repository and add to this view so we will use this option okay here i give the give this path okay and uh, create okay and uh, now one step that I will do here, I will say commit team and commit. 
so if you see all the files the entire project is in my staging area now okay the entire project is in staging area <coughs> so when i uh sorry this is an unsaved changes now i'm going to make move it to staging area and when i say okay okay as of now i mean uh, we did not give the remote uh, repository url as of now but as soon as you know we, we try to commit it's going to ask me the url okay so i go back here code commit again copy my uh, this thing here url i paste it so i have my credentials my password everything stored okay so i am going to click on next and next and it's going to push my changes okay so this is done okay now i go back here and uh, Okay. See, uh, this is my code structure. So this is my repository AWS pipeline demo for War App. Okay, and I have my pom dot xml, my app spec dot xml, and build build spec dot uh, uh, yaml file and app spec dot yaml file in my root directory. So it is very important that your pom dot xml is immediately at the root of your repository. If it is somewhere else, then our build process will fail. Okay, so this is very much. <coughs> mandatory required here that your pom.xml your app spec.yml uh, file build build spec uh, yaml file this should be on your uh, root directory okay all right so i believe our instance uh, should be up and running now okay so this is my instance this is up and running now okay so i go here and uh, 8080 user folder okay i will cover this user folder so my instance is up and running just to make a point here that my environment uh, is uh, up and running for ec2 instance it is ready to uh, to start with uh, any war file deployment or the code pipeline so that's the reason i executed th this uh, this whole stuff right so i will connect this thing to filezilla to show you demonstrate you <coughs> you know uh, where it is deployed so that to have a fair understanding right uh, that environment is up and running because before we start with aws pipeline we have to make sure that our environment for uh, tomcat server and J java is, is basically working fine right so with this uh, page being uh, uh rendered here uh, i mean it establishes that uh, my ec2 instance wherein we haven't done anything yet we just executed our uh, this script uh, right so this script we executed just to start the tomcat server which already was uh, part of this ami okay so as you can see like tomcat is there in this uh, directory here okay tomcat okay so we have web app okay we have user folder okay so this web app we just have user folder and this is nothing but a normal plain uh, hello world application with that pages index.html index.html okay so we don't have uh, our deployable component here okay so okay so So as you can see, like my deployable component will be AWS pipeline demo. Okay, this will be the root of my application when I deploy it. Okay. So now what we need to do here, we need to, uh, as we mentioned, we discussed in this diagram. Okay. Uh, first we will be doing the code commit. So this we have done code commit we have done. So as part of code pipeline, what we need to do, we need to do code build and code deploy. Okay, so I will be creating first code code build application, then code deploy application. Then I will integrate both of these as part of one code pipeline. Okay, and then we will proceed. Okay, all right. So now coming back to code uh, build. Okay, so code build. Okay, 
okay so create a build project app or build so or app build project okay so <clears throat> so here comes the drop down so it asks for the repository okay so this is my repository aws pipeline demo for war app okay so branch master branch right as it is available and the only option so operating system i will say linux runtime standard and uh, image i take the latest one okay and uh, everything remains default so it, it says new service role let it be service new service role use a build spec file so as i mentioned that to build this code build we need a build spec file so it is already there in our project so we don't need to give otherwise we could have given like insert build commands and we could use editor and uh, you know edit all the commands here but we don't want to do that it's already there and as part of the project so use this build spec uh, uh, yaml file right so everything remains the uh, same default no changes right and create build project okay now uh, okay build project is done okay so this is my war app build project hmm? All right now coming to uh, now code deploy okay so we don't need code commit now so i'm going to code deploy okay so applications create application i'm going to name it as like uh, war app war app code deploy okay and compute platform ec2 on premises and create application now i need to create create deployment group so war app code deploy deployment group service role so there is a role code deploy role okay so i think i did not cover that part so let me just quickly go there okay so this is the code deploy role so it just needs the aws code deploy uh, okay let me create another role so so use case will be code deploy here code deploy and uh, next new code deploy okay now code deploy so okay so new code deploy role that we have created here so what we will do is copy we will copy the arn here we will we'll have to paste this arn here okay so as soon as this is done we are good okay so deployment type in place blue green for the sake of this example we will say in place 
a major institute instance key will be name remember we gave the name as uh, demo institute for code deploy right so the same we are giving here <coughs> and uh, everything remains the same no default so install aws code deploy agent uh, only once now and schedule updates so that's not even required because we are installing it okay we recommend can you okay okay so maybe uh, for now like let let it be there now and schedule updates so load balancer we don't need that so have unchecked this thing so create deployment group okay so it's created now okay now we need to go to code uh, pipeline okay and uh, we are going to create a pipeline now so okay so app var demo pipeline java var app demo pipeline new service role so everything remains the same default source provider aws code commit we know the repository uh, okay branch name master everything remains the same default now build aws code build <coughs> project name we have project name here for this war app build project that we created single build okay and uh, next now it go to deployment stage so we will be using code deploy we have our application war app code deploy deployment group we have war app code deploy deployment group next okay now we can review here right so everything as we planned here so we are going to create go create pipeline okay so once this pipeline is created it's going to uh, the execution will begin okay so we have to wait so i'm going to pause for a moment all right friends so as we can see like uh, code pipeline executed successfully okay so source build and deploy and uh, everything works worked fine so full disclosure uh, i got some error here and uh, there was issue with the, the role that we created for ec2 instance so the role is uh, we created new ec2 code deploy right if you remember so at that time we just uh, included one policy here aws code deploy full access but it requires access to a s3 also because intermittent uh, uh, artifacts uh, that are uh, uh, generated uh, using uh, code build and uh, code deploy are basically uh, there in uh, s3 bucket okay so uh to for ec2 instance and uh, code deploy agent to access these uh, artifacts it requires uh, access for uh, s3 okay so i attach that s3 access uh, full access so after that i see here like uh, this is done successfully so just for your reference uh, and to keep this short and troubleshooting not part of this video uh, i am showing you this uh, you know uh, link basically and it shows like error basically this is exactly the same error that i faced download bundle less than 1 second failed unknown error so this was basically because my ec2 instance did not have access to uh, s3 buckets so the role that i assigned uh, ec2 code deploy i attached one more policy here on amazon s3 full access then i had uh, retried this thing and it's it's deployed successfully okay to validate this thing i am here on uh, filezilla okay and uh, as you can see okay so web apps and uh, <coughs> it is trying to retrieve Okay, we can see AWS pipeline demo. Okay, and uh, 
since my tomcat was already running so this is exploded now okay this is an exploded uh, format here right so we can test our application here so that way we tested this whole thing okay so closing this closing this Okay. So this is my application. Okay. So now I'm going to walk you through the Eclipse. Now it is pipeline is done successfully done. Now I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the my Eclipse uh, based project. So we have pom.xml which is uh, my main based run right. So we have given final name as AWS pipeline demo. So we have build spec dot uh, dot yml file which is used for uh, AWS code build. So we have installed runtime version Coreto and the command is MDN clean package. Okay. The command is like uh, uh, you can ignore that uh, you know in case if we wanted to put it in S3 bucket we could have uh, used this command. I am just keeping it for reference. This is not executed. This is for you know comment section. Artifacts. This is very much important because code build gets executed before our code deploy. Okay, so whatever artifacts that we give here are going to be available for code deploy. Okay, so here I have given a target basically target folder where my war is getting generated. So I am saying everything uh, any war file which is there in target it should be present. It should be deployed. It should be uh, forward uh, forwarded to my code deploy. Then we have scripts server start script server stop and test xml file this time I'm putting for reference basically any additional file that i want to be deployed in my tomcat server right then app spec as used by cold code um, deploy file okay so this is my app spec so as you can see this is our structure so sometimes you know it's not just one war file that i need to deploy i might need to deploy additional files so i can have multiple lines rows here source destination source destination okay and uh, there are hooks basically after install and application stop so i'm using server start and server stop remember we we mentioned about uh, in this uh, here like server start server stop this is exactly what we have here okay so these are the files so if you can see like uh, for server start i am just doing a server i'm first giving a permission executing executable permissions and i'm executing it and for stop also i'm doing the same like first permission and then i'm going to shut it down okay now for project uh, plain straightforward hello world project so templates welcome.html as you can see i have given version 9 here so in my browser it is 9 and uh, my code very straightforward uh, i borrowed it from net basically uh, from gentleman mk young so i just modified that example Okay, so request name, parameters name, and then message. So that's a request URI hello parameter name. So whatever you gave, so it will say welcome, and uh, it will render here. Hello, whatever name you give. Similar to that, like you know, I gave my name, and here it, it shows my name. Okay, now coming back to the last point, basically code deploy. Like uh, we mentioned about, uh, you know, we have a code deploy agent which runs and which first it copies to the, uh, you know, code deploy agent basically going to uh, keep your uh, artifacts there and from there on it will be deployed to the main location, right? So. All right. So as you can see, like uh, my code deployment agent. Okay. And uh, this is the complete path. Okay. So uh, it, it's ended in different folders. So within deployment root only within deployment root, we have different folders. So here we have first, it's going to deploy, put it here. Right. And from there on, basically these are the scripts that we have. Right. So our app spec mentioned that, okay, this is my source file. So as soon as it is there, it is going to copy this to my, this location where my Tomcat server is running. Right. So my code agent uh, as part of code deploy, uh, put it here and then, uh, you know, uh, it's then using this, uh, these instructions to copy these files, respective artifacts 
to my tomcat uh, this thing and since my tomcat is already running so as soon as it it was uh, you know copied there so my this application got into exploded mode so uh, everything was there right an application immediately uh, you know was available to serve a request and let's go back and let's see if we have covered everything yes uh, code commit we covered code build we covered code deploy we have gone through we have gone through build spec dot yaml file aspect dot yaml file and we have gone through ec2 instance folder structure with the help of filezilla so we have covered uh, all the thing these things as we mentioned in our uh, you know ppt so guys i think this video is helpful and let me know uh, uh, if you have any questions and uh, thanks for being with me if you like uh, this video please like and subscribe and share thank you have a good day bye